What's up, uh, YouTube family, uh, Gun Freak Nation? Uh, shout out to T Electric. If y'all don't know who that is, check out his page. And uh, shout out to Demcad. Demcad is a real cool guy. He uh, puts out a lot of good content um, about guns, uh, the, the shift, shit hit the fan type of thing. So, anyway, again, like on all my videos, I'm not going to make this a very long video. Make this real short. This is my get home bag video. Uh, get home bag, if you don't know. Major crisis situation. EMP blast from the North Koreans, whatever. Uh, civil unrest. If you were extremely far away from home, how would you get home? What would you do? So, anyway, real quick. I got this bag. I keep it in my car. I have a... Dodge Durango. I keep it on the third row. You know, Dodge Durangos have a third row. I keep it on the third row because I don't want it right in the back seat in case somebody get in. It's never in the way. Um, of course, you can keep it back here in the in the uh, little back area behind the third row. So anyway, real quick, <clears throat> I'm just gonna go over what I have in my get home bag. And again, just in case, you know, you gotta throw this on your back and you gotta you gotta you gotta make it home. Uh, I think about certain movies. I like watching end of the world movies zombie movies whatever i don't too much worried about no zombies but i think in a situation like that if i'm going down the highway car shuts down everybody else's car shuts down you kind of if you kind of know what's going on or the possibility the first thing i do is i always keep my my, my gun on me it's a glock 19 the first thing i would do is i'm not comfortable with carrying one one with a round in the chamber not yet i'm working on that but i would chamber around put it back in my holster carefully just in case so but anyway real quick my get home bag uh i got this bag off of amazon it's like 32 dollars got a little patch on here this is a transformer decepticon patch. i don't know why that came on there but whatever it's cool so uh medical situation i have a a, a first aid kit this band with uh it's paracord paracord it has a compass you got the fire starter has a whistle um so that's kind of cool to have actually and it kind of matches my watch i don't wear this particular watch every day but obviously it's a watch the temperature gauge uh compass whistle another fire starter um small uh small flashlight you know nothing too serious but uh this might be like a hundred piece or something like that first aid kit i'm not gonna take everything out tons of band-aids alcohol wipes matter of fact i had brought some alcohol wipes i had i like to keep stuff like that in my vehicle um to hand sanitizer wipe your hands off whatever uh like nice little nice little first aid kit uh, Allen wrench, safety pins, pair of scissors, medical scissors. So that's kind of cool. Some gauze, tons of band aids. They put a ton of band aids in there. So, so anyway, um, a water bottle is empty. Kind of you can squirt it out, whatever. It's empty, you know, because it just sits in my car. Of course, I'm not gonna put water in it right now. But uh, a knife, a little, a little pocket knife, folding knife, and I have these. Uh, boat cutters uh i got these at a i'm in michigan and we have a tractor supply i don't know what you guys might have wherever you live at that's compatible but these were ten dollars so the idea was when i first got into uh get home bags or bug out bags whatever and i prefer get home bag versus a bug out bag because i don't have a place to bug out to but uh a guy was saying if you come across one of those old school Bob wire fence or fence you got to cut through this this you got to cut through this field versus going miles or however down far you know some bolt cutters and they're not very heavy so they come in pretty handy um so on the inside I had this has a lot of a lot of pockets uh we've had a lot of rain lately so it made the mosquitoes bad so I have uh some off deep woods off mosquito repellent if you've seen that, so I ran across a commercial strolling through Facebook and there's a woman holding a flashlight, big old huge flashlight, and uh, she's sh she shining a flashlight across the lake. I'm like, damn, that's a nice flashlight. I want that flashlight. So I ordered it. It came in the mail um, last week, week last week, Friday. And 
is damn so not what was on the commercial but this flashlight is kind of cool it's anyway i mean i'm thinking it's gonna be real huge i haven't used it at night but it appears to be pretty nice it'll it'll go bright to dim you know strobe light and then a little side light and then you shut it off it has a usb port where you can plug your phone up or, uh, with the usb part or actually the phone uh two different little phone charger plugs so that's kind of cool you gotta have a flashlight you never know um i got this flashlight i want to say I, I can't remember exactly where i got this flashlight from but this is the uh has a radio uh am fm sos y band uh it's the kind you crank crank it up for the powers like i said it's a flashlight also um it's already charged it came with the little little cord just like your phone charger real short cord uh usb i'll tape it to it so i don't lose it you see it just fell off though um in case you want to charge it up like right now before a crisis situation happened where you don't have any electricity or whatever i also keep in here a pair of pants i might get a bigger ziploc bag this is a pair of jeans I live in Michigan, so forbid if something happened in January, December, where it's real cold. But regardless, even if it's 80 degrees, you know, it might get 60 degrees at night. So a pair of jeans and I have a Ziploc bag with a T-shirt, a pair of socks. Well, not just any pair of socks. It's a very thick pair of wool socks. I'm going to be real fast to try to keep your attention. Um, I have a T-shirt, short sleeve T-shirt and a change of underwear in this bag so like i said you never know um so i have like a, a basically a, a complete change of clothes um in that bag i have a knife um got this off of amazon also just a small knife with some paracord on both ends we can you know wrap that around your hand or whatever decent little knife it's not too bad you know something to have look got the little saw on that end so that's kind of cool um these are i don't know how big they are i don't want to take them out on, on and unravel them it's almost like foil that you wrap around yourself to keep yourself warm i think i got these at the dollar store for a dollar a piece um i can't remember the size like i said i'm not gonna un, uh, take them out but uh i might even have more than two but you wrap yourself up at night time to keep your body heat in um look like some of my first aid kit came out a couple big band-aids i went to the dollar store and i got 50 feet of little rope it's really not paracord but uh i don't know how sturdy it is but it's 50 feet you never know what you might need to do with that little rope at the dollar store at the dollar tree which it was a, exactly one dollar not a dollar fifty or anything like that i got three a pack of three lighters if i'm not mistaken i was standing in line at walmart and found those but three lighters uh i got this it's 2000 it's 2021 i got this in 2018 when i got into kayaking and this is i got this at the store called five below and this is a bag you know you never know when you got to jump in the water but inside this bag it it, it zipped it's twice folds and then velcros but it's waterproof and if you wanted to if you want to listen to some music you can this is this is inside the bag you plug that up and then out here is where you might plug your phone or earphones up to or whatever but this is in case of a situation where you got to get wet and you want to keep some documents or whatever dry i got like i said i got this at five below two or three years ago but hand sanitizer vaseline fire starter you know just in case uh got some electrical tape uh just for sanitary reasons you never know i got some uh some wipes man uh walmart for it was a pack of these for maybe a few dollars three four dollars um more first aid stuff came out of my first aid kit some gauze i got these also for a dollar at the dollar tree these are uh cable ties the little like not zip ties but you know almost like a zip tie you know just in case you want to 
you gotta pitch a tent and you don't have no, you know, whatever you need, but you know, zip ties, they were a dollar. And this was a first aid, this was a survival kit. Um, I, I'm assuming I got it off of Amazon. I get a lot of stuff off of Amazon because it's not expensive, but I'm not gonna take everything out. But if you gotta eat this little spoon and you pull that spoon out, it's a nice little knife with the little hook. You know, but that's kind of cool. I'll spork actually with the little things like a. F yeah, my video stopped. Just, just, you know, I deleted some videos. Hopefully, I got. I'm gonna be real quick. Got this little thing where you can, uh, if you need to cut a tree, wrap it around the tree, saw the tree off, break a window. It actually has a pin in it, a window breaker. Um, I think this has. I haven't opened this up in a while. But you can unscrew it and it's an actual uh, actual pen to write something down. A whistle, uh, lantern, oh, fire starter, flint, and you know, uh, that's inside that little survival kit. This is all in my bag. So, and then this has little pockets right here. On this side, I have oh. It's like a bullet, but it has actually a flashlight. It's nice to have uh, flashlights. Um, little magnet. Uh, just the whole thing. This is actually the magnet. You know, that's a screwdriver. Um, pocket over here. I got a thing for bags, too. I got a ton of bags. Uh, more hand sanitizer. Uh, lighter fluid. In case it's dark and you do need to start a fire, lighter fluid, you know, you never know. Um, but I think, oh yeah, and please, like I always say, if I misspeak about something, please let me know. And if you think it's something that I don't have that I might want to get, because I'm not done with it, let me know. Um, some Allen wrenches, different size Allen wrenches. This little compass with uh, a whistle on the end, compass has a temperature gauge that's what's on my watch too i think i said that a temperature gauge and this folds out and it's a uh a magnifying glass you know if you old school like me magnifying glass you can start a fire with that but i think that's about it you know this is my my, my get home bag right now i haven't added to it in a while um but every now and then, like I said, if I'm in a dollar store and I run across something, I'm going to get it. Because, uh, you know, you never can be, you know, too prepared, you know. So, um, so yeah, that, that, that's my, my, my get home bag. And, uh, again, if you think it's something I'm forgetting, I do. I want to get a regular, a nice size compass. I'm pretty good with directions unless it's nighttime and I'm turned around. But if I'm, in, like I said, in that crisis situation... And I'm on an actual highway. I know which direction I'm to go in. Um, but like with the boat cutters, in case you might not want to travel on the highway, if it's civil unrest, you know, you just never know. Um, trying to be prepared. I used to be a Boy Scout, and you know, the number one motto was always be prepared. So um, I got to put all this stuff back in this bag, but that's cool. Uh, so yeah, uh, I'm trying to get a my next handgun. Uh, won't be very expensive and that'll probably be a handgun that I'll keep in the bag you know maybe maybe not I always got one with me anyway so so yeah that's what's up that's my get home bag again if I forget anything or if y'all got something in your get home bag that I don't have let me know you know uh, like share comment give me a thumbs up thumbs down give me something you know uh so yeah that's what's up that's my get home bag i mean yeah my get home bag and i'm gonna keep adding to it switch some stuff up you know i don't know put a, maybe a long sleeve t-shirt in here because that's a short sleeve t-shirt and i got tons of long sleeve t-shirts maybe something thicker or extra t-shirt so that's my video um my get home bag i think it's important that we prepared you never know what's gonna happen i think this video is gonna be kind of short so anyway that's what's up hit me up Take care of your health. I can't stress it enough. Um, you know, as we move forward, I just moving forward, just got married five days ago. You know, I just put a little small little video. We're two, we two, we are two non-traditional people, but we'll do a, we're going to do a traditional 
ceremony two or three months from now. But um, so, yeah. So and she's into this, too. You know, I'm, I'm putting together a get home bag for her. You know, it's important that women out there on the road and they prepare too. Cause some of them don't know what to have. And last thing you want is one of your loved ones to be in a bad situation simply because they weren't prepared. So but anyway, take care of your health. So I just got my car on a quick side note. I always say take care of your health because what if you are in that situation and just something terrible has happened happening or happen you don't want to you got to hurry up and get down here a mile what if you can't make it simply because you're not used to physical activity um i'm i'm trying to be prepared with with my health more than anything you know what if you don't have a get home bag what if you don't have a gun on your hip what you gonna do like seriously what what, what are you gonna do so um but if you got a, a child that's bigger, it's a teenager, and they passed out, can you? Are you strong enough to carry them? Do you know what to do? So, so that's one reason why I do what I do. You know, I'm trying to. Uh, I'm in the process of possibly moving, and so I'm trying to find a gym in the area I'm trying to move to, just so I can get back at it, get to hitting those weights and get some cardio in. Even if it's just walking down the street around the block a few times, walk for 30 minutes walk back for 30 minutes that's an hour so that's good but um so anyway that's what's up uh like share comment you know let me know what's up I'm, I'm gonna try to give a lot more content you know i try not to go too far left with my content i try to stick to guns and 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 survival stuff i try not to be too political but i'll be a lot more social talk about some social issues but um so yeah that's what's up all right y'all be cool